Killings on the streets of Peru's capital, now a common scene. Homicide and robbery rates are up across the country. Peruvians are frightened and angry at the government and Congress, who they say are oblivious to their needs. We don't know how to defend ourselves, the president, the congressman. What are they doing for our security? They have to wake up. In President Dina Boluarte's 20 months in office, nearly one-third of Peru's 34 million people are now living in poverty. Some analysts accuse the government and political leaders of governing for themselves, and that's impacting the economy. What dominates today are personal agendas with subordinate interests and not policies that improve the quality of life of the average citizen. This is being seen with a degradation of strength that Peru had, its fiscal strength, because it spent right and left without improving the quality of life for Peruvians. Dina Boluarte is facing accusations of corruption and human rights violations, something she denies. Legislators also under investigation have amassed so much power, many government institutions are under their control. Freedom House has downgraded Peru's democracy to partly free. This institutional weakening is the Achilles heel of the country today. It is not so much the macroeconomic management, but the lack of direction, of having a much more cohesive society with institutions that work. Our democracy is very weak, without counterweights and very severe crisis of representation that affects our economic recovery and obviously affects the poorest. But President Boluarte says otherwise. We are a reliable partner for the world. Our economy continues to recover, we have clear rules of the game and we respect the legal framework. We welcome responsible investments that generate development for our compatriots. Opinion polls say both the President and Congress have an approval rating of less than 6%. Hardly anyone here believes in their ability to run the country. With eight years of political instability and seven presidents, one former government official says the country's leadership lacks credibility. With organized crime and poverty touching daily lives for so many, Peruvians are demanding elections on Peru's independence anniversary. They say they have nothing to celebrate. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Lima. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.